As all of you are no doubt aware, I am the undisputed champion of sex toy martial arts with a specialization in ancient fleshlight techniques. I am the preeminent expert in this field, a titan with a license to orgasm. That being said, my authority has been challenged by a company called Adam and Eve, who seem to be living in a fantasy world where they believe that I'm a one-trick pony who has only mastered the fleshlight as if I haven't studied every discipline and every single sex toy on God's green earth and mastered it to such a high level that even the Shaolin monks would be fucking jealous. It's laughable. So they sent me a bunch of items and I do really appreciate that, but they said, can you even come up with self-defense techniques using these? And I couldn't help but feel like they thought my dick was small. Of course I can, easily, and I did. I've done this before with flashlights, but now I've taken it to the next level. Here you can see most of what they sent. To the untrained eye, this may seem to be tools that are only used for orifices on the human body and pleasure, but to the trained eye of a professional like me, I see weapons of death, instruments of destruction. Now I decided to start this lesson with the binwa balls. Binwa balls are ordinarily used to go in the vagina and you rock back and forth, they clank against each other and make a vibration. However, in the hands of a professional like me, I was able to look past this intended purpose and I saw musket ammunition from way back in the early days of warfare. So I thought, well, I don't have a musket, but I have the next best thing, a fleshlight. So I began stuffing these pussy bullets down the barrel. And it works not too dissimilar from a slingshot. It's almost like a rail gun, to be honest, and it's quite powerful. Listen to that late explosion. The shot heard around the world. Now I knew I was capable of much more, so I decided let's pull it back further like I'm knocking an arrow. Great success. As you can see, you got someone coming up to you with ill intent and you're armed with only the Benoit balls in your pussy and a fleshlight? Well, you're not defenseless. In fact, you've got yourself a projectile weapon that can rival a shotgun. Alright, step one in the bullying self-defense course. Let's say you're putting this nice fleshy police baton up your butthole, having a good time. Brendan Fraser breaks in, burglarizing, telling you to stop watching The Mummy, but you tell him, Fuck no, I love that movie. You give him the what for? You don't want to do it. You can go a little south pollen. See, that's an easy one. Like, that's not even a challenge. This is already made for weaponry. Now, I know I said Adam and Eve challenged me here, but it's much more like Lucius giving Bruce Wayne more toys for Batman to play with. And I had a lot of fun playing with it, so I wanted to say thank you to Adam and Eve. They also gave me a code, so if any of you are interested in becoming sexual orgasm wizards using any of these tools you see before you, you can go to adamandeve.com, use code DEFENSE, get 50% off of one item, free shipping to US and Canada. Some exclusions do apply, so if you're interested, you can go check it all out. Next up, I'll teach you how to use the ass spankaroonie as more than just a bludgeoning tool, because obviously you can slap some people in the face with it and they'll definitely feel that it wouldn't feel good. However, I wanted to take that to the next level. What else could it be used for? Could it be used as perhaps a baseball bat to deflect projectiles? Hmm, perhaps. Now obviously, if you're using your spanking tool for self-defense, chances are you're also going to be sporting your biker gang skull choker and leash. I took my batter stance and readied my swing. This is the perfect countermeasure if someone's attacking you with eggs. Like if fucking How To Basic has a hit on you and he's coming at you, you're going to be able to counter him pretty hard. Now using this thruster and clit stimulator, and the clit stimulator portion looks like someone doing the I love metal hand gesture, I thought to myself, can't really use this for self-defense, but this looks like the perfect tool for some runescape grinding. Clicks per minute are pretty goddamn fast, but if you're not satisfied, you can crank that bitch up real hard. Put in the fucking afterburners. And even still, engage the nitrous on the third level setting. Turbo speed. Of course, you got the classic Great American Challenge, the latest from DARPA. The most recent defense technology on the market. You don't even need to get creative with this. If you're playing with this, you're already a force to be reckoned with. This is a dildo for fucking Hagrid, maybe. It's massive. The cave troll from Harry Potter probably couldn't take this, but 
Over your shoulder, pretty simple. Lock and load it. Makes sense to me. The classic chip test. Yeah, it's bludgeoning power is second to none. An absolute force to be reckoned with. And obviously, you can go with the traditional kettlebell swings using it as well and get yourself a nice little workout in there.